Since nearly being traded to the Kings of the draft, Tim, there's been virtually nothing to talk about. No trade with Patches. No contract offer for Patches. Zip. Nothing. Sorry, I'm, I made a mistake, Tim. Mm-hmm. That's not entirely true. Okay. When rumors surfaced that Canadians brass wouldn't be at Max Pacioretty's golf tournament, yeah. the Montreal Canadiens' official Twitter account did feel the need to clarify things with the following tweet. Tim's already chuckling. This was a real thing a while ago. Uh, they confirmed with Habs letterhead that owner Jeff Molson, GM Mark Bergevin, and head coach Claude Julien would all be at Pacioretty's golf tournament. Here's the thing. Mm-hmm. The golf tournament was today. Today. And contrary to what we thought would happen, Tim, things went really well. There was no awkwardness to speak of once Jeff Molson and Mark Bergevin arrived, and it was fine. Just kidding. It was really it was awkward. Really it was super. It was super. Hey, Max. Thanks, Thanks, buddy. Thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Good. Got Mark the weather? Yeah. Wait. I, Mark. Mark. Don't front to it, Wasson. Is this one? Veux-tu please? Hey. Let's get the... It's been four to see. That's it. That's it. Hey. Knuckle, how are you? Yeah. 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 Nothing to see here, completely and utterly natural, like two long lost buddies seeing each other for the first time after time away. Hugs. All right, it was. <laughs> Photo aussi. <laughs> oh. Photo aussi. Spal français. Ça va, oui. Right. Photo aussi. <laughs> Max, how you doing? No extension. Ça va, oui. Yeah. Oui. No extension. Yeah. Almost traded you to LA. Oui. Ça va. Oui. Right. Uh, ça va. Ça va. Photo. Mm-hmm. So the PR guy's like the Savat photo, and everyone's right. like, all right, here we, we got to some. And my favorite part is uh, Bergevin gets called back in, and, and he asks someone to hold his raffle tickets for him that he was just given. Do you think Pacioretty at one point, <laughs> yeah, can you hold these? Do you think Pacioretty at one point said to Jeff Molson, hey, do you remember when you stepped in and got P.K. Subban signed for a lot of money? Over here. <laughs> Shut up. How about, how about, Shut up. How about this guy right here? Shut up, this guy already. Five minutes into the show, on fire. Well, you never thought of that? No, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm, I'm already thinking of Kendris Morales. I'm uh, blowing through this story. <laughs> I, I, no, you're no, not. No, I'm not. Not at all in any no, way, no, shape, no, or no. form. Like, this can't last the way that so is. So how's it going to end? So how's it going to end? With a trade. Like when? the last one ended. When? Who knows? <laughs> when they get the right thing. But what are they doing here? Like, they're not going to. Okay, listen. Max Petretti scores goals. What did they not do last year? Score goals. goals. Correct. Right? Like, well, they did not do a lot of things last year. But there is a possibility where you could keep him, wait for him to score a few more goals, and then try and trade him at a deadline. You got one year left on the deal. This could happen then as much as it could happen now. And that there, that awkwardness that everyone went through, seemingly to me suggests that he will start the year in Montreal. There is no extension on the works. At least that's what he said Yesterday, no negotiations are going on. Patretti handled it well. He was asked about it, didn't dwell on it. Just said, listen, no negocios for Sid Sixero. Negocios and negocios. Right? No negocios. Um, I get it. I had a bad season last year. We're trying to get better. Here's what we know. Let's let's look at the facts. This guy's a proven 30-goal guy in this league, correct? Correct. This guy at $4.5 million on the cap hit is a pretty good deal if he's still that 30-goal guy, correct? Mm, right, not the 17-goal guy from not last year. Not the 17-goal guy, we all agree on that. But the 30-goal guy from the previous season. That's, uh, that's a good price for $4.5 million on your salary cap. Without a doubt. I don't care who you are. And there are still some things at work here that could lead to a lot of teams wanting this guy. Here's my only point to what I saw today. The Montreal Canadiens, for the last several years, have done one thing really poorly. PR. Today, for me, was again an easy thing to fake your way through. And again, they couldn't get it right. They couldn't get it right. Little, hey, hey, Mark, just do some, have a little, little small talk with Max. A little. You know there's seven cameras on you, right? You know there's seven cameras on you, Mr. Molson. Fake this a little bit. Just, to, just for us. Just for the PR people. And they couldn't get that right. So I just don't understand. I, like they are, they are hurting themselves a bit in this story. 
And I understand he nearly was an L.A. King, and it was close at the draft. I get it. I don't think either side wants this to still be a relationship. But it, it is what it is. And just fake it a bit more. I didn't see that today. I saw awkwardness. I saw three guys that didn't want to be there. And it's not that hard, man. It's not that hard. It's Montreal. There's, there's eight cameras looking at you constantly. Fake it. Couldn't even do that. Come on, guys. It's not their first rodeo. It's pathetic. I do take a umbrage with one thing that you said. Shoot. You said the one thing they do poorly, and I didn't want to interrupt you because you were going on there. I appreciate it. The one thing that, you were, that they did poorly was PR. How about uh, score goals, oh, no. uh, diagnose injuries, oh, wow. uh, consummate trades, mm. and or play their position, their players at their right positions? Shut up. Any of those things? <laughs> they collect points. This guy's unbelievable. Man. Get a new GM. Oh, no. You're not, he's not done. No. I, like, keep I, going, I, keep you going. want me to keep going? Go on, keep going. Because I can keep going. Just give me a break after four. Uh, get their owner to step in on this one the way he stepped in on the previous cap. Do you know where they made, do you know where they took the picture? I don't know if you could see in the video where the picture was taken. The picture was taken at a sea, a giant sea. Oh, that I saw, yeah, I saw the sea. Captain. Yeah. I think that's short for see you later. Right. Which is he's going to get traded. Which is what it's meant to many yeah. a Montreal captain in the last little while. Listen. I'm not trying to rip a team that doesn't need any more ripping. Like, a lot of people have uh, pooed all over the situation in Ottawa. There are arguments that you could make that say the Senators are in a better position right now than the Montreal Canadiens are. And I say that thinking that they have the best goaltender on planet Earth because I still believe that Carey Price is the best goaltender on planet Earth. Like, this is not a good situation, and the fact that Mark Bergevin is back is mind-boggling to me, and Mark Bergevin is going to make the next move on a team that has two players signed very long-term to huge deals, and they're both over 30, and they have nothing to surround them. And they're talking about trading the one guy that might be able to surround them. And if they're not going to trade him, they've already pissed him off, at least. Oh, they pissed him off. Right? Like, when, that's when you're that close to now. leaving, and it doesn't happen... I guarantee you Max Pacioretty is pissed off. There's no question about it.